Hey folks, I just wanted to show you my Garmin Vivo Fit 4. Um, it's starting to have issues and I wanted to show you one of the overlooked but weaknesses of this type of device is the plastic casing. As you can see here, pointing with my screwdriver, the screws to get in and out of this device are so uh, close to the edge of the plastic that it tends to become brittle and crack. Now, I've only gone into my device a few times to change the batteries over the last few years, but through wear and tear and everyday use, even despite the fact that it has a rubber wristband, uh, it will get uh, you know, dried up, perhaps. You can see a crack there in the corner uh, where that screw is. That starts to develop more into a break like you see right there. And uh, unfortunately, even though the device itself may have... Uh, you know, a longer lifespan, the casing around it starts to deteriorate. Here I've opened it up and you can see what looks like water ingress. As soon as those screws start to weaken, uh, the seal obviously becomes compromised and you can see moisture. Uh, so you, you know, you even working out, sweating, uh, you know, definitely you have to be careful washing your hands and uh, probably you won't be able to go in the shower with this thing. Uh, the waterproofing essentially becomes useless. And, you know, there's no good easy way to fix the corners. I mean, once those screw holes break and you can see how close they're they're placed to the edge, it's impossible to fix. The other side of the case has metal inserts, as you can see there in the corners, which uh, the screws tap into. But, you know, the, the top part, uh, you know, there's nothing they, they've, that they've reinforced there. And it's so precariously close to the edge of the plastic and it's so thin that it will break. And uh, that's just an engineering choice uh, or design choice, I should say. Uh, that's really not, you know, wasn't thought out, uh, you know, as far as longevity for this thing. And you can see that blue seal still present, but it's really uh, not going to do much once you don't have pressure from those screws. Now, you know, some weird behavior started to happen. You can see here I'm pressing on the button and I'm just staying, you know, the light, uh, backlight still works. I can still synchronize, but the display doesn't seem to work. Um, you know, like it, it's stuck in the time clock there. When I scroll through the, the modes, it kind of stops halfway as it's sliding the screen over, right? You see how it's, uh, and it's switching c uh, color modes too. It's going inverted, like black on white to white on black. Um, now I've, I'm in the time mode, but it's not showing the time. It's flipping through the calendar and the temperature setting, uh, but the top half of the screen is blank. Sometimes the time gets inverted. There's black on white. And then randomly as I click on things, um, it will eventually be black on white or white on black. Here you can see even the middle of the time uh, start is was not refreshed fully, and you can see there's these uh, lines through there. I'm going to zoom in. Now, I don't know if that's due to the water ingress because it is very peculiar. I don't know how that would affect, uh, you know, the the functioning and the modes. I mean, I, I get if the display gets compromised, but, you know, it stops halfway. So here's another example. Right now it says 9-11 on the watch. I'm going to flip through the calendar, the weather, and then it's updated to 931. So another thing I've noticed is my watch doesn't actually change the time. Unless I click the button, that display stays with whatever time it was last on. I'm going to have to uh, check again the synchronization settings because it could be that uh, there's some software setting that has become, uh, yeah, that's telling it to do that. But you'll see, I've never noticed that before, but as I press the button, it will blank, it'll flip the, the, the mode of the screen. There's black on white, and then it'll invert it as I scroll through. Here's another example of, you know, the typical behavior. Again, it's flipping colors. Then sometimes I get nothing. So anyway, I just wanted you to have a look at this device, the Garmin Vivo Fit 4. I mean, it's great, but, uh, you know, I've changed the band only once. The other band broke. There's a previous video about that. Uh, now I have a device that's, you know, has another flaw. And sadly, it, while it may still have some life left in it, the casing is the weak point. So just beware when you buy these watches, uh, plastic casing, if you have to change the batteries of more than a few times and after a few years, it'll deteriorate. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and catch you next time.